We all know that Spongebob is a popular cartoon character, with the character seeing various interpretations of media, especially through movies. Likewise, Sponge on the Run has been an anticipated movie this year, and there are a bunch of secrets just waiting to be found. Today, that is what we're going to explore. Here are some secrets in Sponge on the Run. Our first secret occurs during the scene where Spongebob and Squidward go to the Krusty Krab for the first time in the movie. Squidward approaches the cashier boat to start reading a magazine with Kelpie G's likeness on it. From here, Spongebob annoys Squidward as usual and proceeds to walk into the back talking about Old Gertrude, which is a nickname given to the stove in which the Krabby Patties are cooked on. While everything seems normal at first, if you have a look at Squidward's magazine, you can see that there's an eerily familiar face on the back of it. This is the robber who stole Spongebob's paddy wagon in the first movie. Squidward, and isn't it a lovely morning? Nope, not talking to you. And I'm especially not getting involved in any of your nonsense today. I always end up with the wrong end of the stick. Okay, Squidward. <sighs> but you should know that old Gertrude's getting pretty finicky these days. Old Gertrude? Who the kelp is that? You've worked with her for years! She's the eight burner grill in the kitchen! It never ends. Our second hidden secret actually occurs during the exact same scene as the previous one. In the scene, in order to get old Gertrude up and running in the morning, Sojo proceeds to read a book titled The Little Griddle Who Could. Upon doing so, we can see two prominent sticky notes hanging just below the kitchen window. If you take a closer look, you can see the same doodle that was used to portray Spongebob in his early concept phase, where he was originally called Spongebob Ahoy. This doodle was created by the late Steven Hillenburg when he was originally creating the concept of Spongebob. Fire up, you've got to spark her flinch manually, and then giggle her gas jets just a little. <laughs> and then read her favorite story, The Little Griddle Who Could. Chapter 2. But we are fresh from the freezer, said the patties, and we're co 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 cold. Don't worry, I'll get you nice and warm, said the little griddle. Well, I just say, I am not interested. Don't involve me. Our third secret occurs during the scene where we see Plankton and his computer wife Karen for the first time. Plankton is having a monologue about stealing the Krabby Patty secret formula, and during this monologue, Karen tries to warn Plankton that it's really Spongebob who's in the way of Plankton obtaining what he needs. Despite the warning though, Plankton is vigilant and stays true to his original intentions and goes forward with his plan anyways. When Plankton moves towards his desk ready to work on a robot, we can see robot Spongebob as well, which is a callback to the season 2 episode, Welcome to the Chum Bucket. In that episode, Plankton puts Spongebob's brain in that robot to ensure that he works for him, and in doing so, makes him a Krabby Patty to extract the formula from. I've checked the data. It's Spongebob who's the problem. Hello! Oh, fish sticks. What could that boob have to do with it? <laughs> boob savant, you mean. Spongebob is the one who keeps spoiling your plans, Surprise! not Mr. Krabs. Oh, nonsense. It's Krabs, Karen. I know it is. And tonight, I will finally extract my revenge! One of the secrets present in this film overall is the reoccurring instance that Spongebob refers to his beloved snail Gary by various names. One of those many names is the name Gare Bear. This again is a reoccurring theme throughout the film. Oh, I'm late if I'm gonna be early. Oh, oh don't worry Gare Bear. I'll be back before you can say why did he cruelly abandon me like that. Gary, I'm home. Gare Bear? Hey, where are you, buddy? Wish you many happy years together. Thank you! Oh, did you hear that, Gare Bear? Our last secret on the list comes in the form of the original movie poster. In this poster, Spongebob and Patrick are both using binoculars, which illustrates the importance and message behind looking for Gary. However, if you look at Patrick, you can see that he's using his binoculars in reverse. This is a very unique callback to the second Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water, where Patrick uses his binoculars in reverse. However, in typical Patrick fashion, this is just his typical behavior that you'd expect from a character like Patrick. 